friends, Miranda here, and today I have a recipe for you, one that is super duper easy, and it is so perfect for fall, the easiest stew ever, and that is a beef stew, and we are doing it in the crock pot today, you guys. So let me go ahead and share with you the ingredients that you will need. So first up, obviously you're gonna need some beef stew meat, you guys. So I actually have two packages like this, and together it's roughly about uh, just over like a pound and a half here, you guys. So you need your beef stew meat. You will also need a package of the uh, beef stew little packets here, the little powder mix, as well as two of the brown gravy, you guys. Then you will need some carrots, and you will need some potatoes. You can use whatever potatoes you like. I'm using red, you can use yellow, regular russet potatoes, whatever, um, and also some water, you guys. And that is it. So let me go ahead and share with you how this is made. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and added my meat to my crock pot. Now all I'm gonna do is just add in a bunch of carrots. You can add however little or however much carrots you want to it. It's really to your liking, you guys. So I'm gonna add, that's probably more than like half of this one pound bag here. Um, and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my potatoes and I'm gonna cut them into just some cubed uh, pieces. So I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I went ahead, cut up the potatoes into just pieces like this, probably about like an inch or so. Um, I leave the skin on mine. You don't have to. That's totally up to you whether you like the skin on or not. Um, I use three of the red potatoes. However much, again, you can use as little or as much as you would like. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my little packets, my little seasoning packets here. I'm going to add in the gravy. And all you're gonna do is just sprinkle it on there, just like so. Just sprinkle, sprinkle on there. For not wanting to come out very good. Being stubborn today. This other one out of here. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the little beef stew packet here. And you guys, this is literally just like the perfect seasoning and everything, you guys. If you feel that you need to add salt, I would wait until like the end once it's all dished up and everything. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty flavorful just with these seasonings and stuff. Um, and then what I'm gonna do next is fill this with water, at least so that it covers everything. All right, so I went ahead and covered it with water. Like I said, you wanna make sure to cover everything. I know some people like a really thick stew. I'm not a fan of that. I like mine to be more soupy. So um, all I'm gonna do is just kind of mix this around a little bit just to kind of incorporate it. Uh, make sure that everything's kind of all even in here for cooking. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this on either low for eight to 12 hours or on high four to six i'm going to be setting mine on high um again if you want to do it on low you can but i just usually always do mine on high and i will bring you guys back and show you what it looks like in the end i cannot wait for this you guys we're going to cover it and we're going to set it all right, you guys, and here we are six hours later. Oh, my house smells amazing. But look at this, you guys. It looks so, so delicious. So give this recipe a try, you guys. Hoping to get some more recipes out to you soon. Enjoy and have a good one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.